Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, here we are back in FED Elements, and today we are doing a wave turn. This is actually a pretty simple element. I, the first time I discovered how to do this, I made it by accident. A long time ago, when I was just starting to learn uh, FED, uh, I kind of did it by accident. I was like, aha, that's how that's done. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you how to do this. If any of you all are interested in doing an RMC, uh, this is one of their standard elements, so I thought it would be useful for some of you. The principles behind it are pretty easy. Uh, you can see right here, I just did it really quickly. Uh, it took me about uh, 12 minutes to do this, actually. So I'll go into the, in just a moment, we'll go into the live version of the graph. We'll take a look at it. I'll explain the principles behind it, uh, and then you'll be good to go. I'll also, of course, upload the, the file for anyone who needs to use it. Uh, you can see right here, I'm just straightening it out, fooling around a little. It didn't take too long just because I wasn't trying to copy a particular one. But let's switch over to the live graph and we'll talk a little more about it. All right, so here we are in the live graph and you can see uh, this is pretty much what I assume where the name for this comes from uh, in terms of a wave turn. You can see here by the shadow, it sort of looks like a wave uh, from the top. Let's go and take a look at the top as well. Yeah, you can see it kind of waves to the side there. Now I could fool around with this some more and get it to come out perfectly straight. Uh, I could really go and try to uh, emulate a wave turn from say lightning rod uh, or wildfire or something like that but I was really just trying to give you the principles of what uh, how a wave turn looks in the the uh, FED program so let's just take a ride on it real fast going down the hill and you can see right there is the wave and then you just kind of swoop back down and up now granted this one is uh, much more smooth than a typical RMC their uh, transitions tend to be much more abrupt than what I did here uh, but that's again that's just something that you can fool around with uh, I was just trying to get this done quick and dirty for you uh, so you can see the principle of it is let's go down here just take a better look uh, we just got the bottom of the hill and, and of course I just put together something really quickly a first drop and then the wave turn it looks a little bit weird from there from the side it looks nice all right, so you see the principles of it are you've got your positive G's down here at the bottom of the drop. And then, of course, in a wave turn, you have negative G's. So we've got a quartic, or is this cubic? Cubic uh, the graph going down to about negative 0.1, I believe, uh, 1.5 seconds. And then we've got it going back up to positive, And you can see right there where that's happening in 2.6 seconds. And that's what's causing this, this very smooth sort of transition and roll back down and, and the increase in uh, positive G's. Uh, sometimes that, that's appropriate, sometimes it isn't. It really depends on what you're going for. I tend to like um, a mixture of transitions in my rides, some smooth and some abrupt. Uh, so sort of a combination of maybe what B&M would do and a combination of what Intamin and RMC would do. I kind of like that change up. It keeps the ride fresh and interesting. What I thought was important though for this was that you have the roll uh, finished before you start going into the negative right here. You can have it, it go over just a little bit more if you want, but you see we did a roll of about 64 degrees. My goal was to get it up to roughly a 90 degree angle right here. I believe it is 95, which is probably a little bit 96. You can see right here it's 96 degrees. Just a little bit too much, but uh, I could fix that. I could fool around with it some more and fix it. And make it exactly 90 but for this purpose uh, just to show you the general principle behind this that's fine so you can see I did a roll about 1.6 seconds uh, and it goes up 64 degrees and then it's just flat the whole way over the wave turn it's just flat and then this while the roll is flat and not changing the actual vertical acceleration is changing into this uh, negative territory right here and then of course you start to roll back in 1.6 seconds uh, to zero, and I just did this with the standard Portic uh, function right there. So you can see, not much to this. It's pretty easy to do something like this in uh, FVD. This is really something that is very simple to do in FVD. So um, that's going to be about it. I will, of course, upload, or I will, yes, upload this uh, FVD file, and I'll give you a link to it. There are other FED elements in the series if you want to take a look at them, but otherwise that's going to be it. So take care and enjoy the ride.